feels like rendezvous You know what to do Keep your love for me only I get high on you Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a comparison video. So I've heard a lot of hype about this concealer. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I've heard that this is like really comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape, which I love. You guys know I like live and love. Also, please do not mind my nails. I'm going, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go get my nails done. But um, this is like my holy grail concealer. I absolutely love it, it's amazing. And so I was curious because this one's $7 and this one's $27. So there's like a $20 difference. So the chart one says Shape Tape Contour Concealer. And then the Revolution one says Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. So I'm going to do my right eye with the Revolution Concealer and my left eye with the Tarte Shape Tape and try and see if they're comparable. Hopefully they are because I have to go out today. Uh, so my Tarte Shape Tape is in the shade Fair. And the lightest revolution one I could find, a lot of them are sold out because it is really popular right now, is number C3. So this is what it looks like. If you can see it. All right, I'm excited. Because I've heard so much hype, like everyone's talking about it right now. So I wanted to do a swatch on my hand first because I haven't even been able to swatch this color yet. So I don't even know if it's gonna be the right shade. Oh yeah, it seems okay. All right, so that is the Revolution one right there. And then, okay, so the Tarte Shape Tape is a lot cooler in tone. So hopefully they work out. <laughs> that is the Tarte one, and then this one is the Revolution one. The Revolution one is definitely more warm based, and the Tarte one is definitely cooler, um, more neutral, and just brighter and lighter. So let's hope it works. All right. So I'm gonna do the Revolution again on my right eye. All right, so obviously I already have foundation on and primer, just the same foundation and primer that I've been using on a daily basis, which is the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Pore Minimizer Primer with the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. All right, so even the wand looks very, very similar to the Tarte one. They're both very thick wands. The Tarte one is a little bit bigger and you have a longer applicator. This one is shorter. Okay, so this may be a little bit too dark. It's not going to be as brightening, I don't know. Well, that's what I think right off the bat. Okay, so I always put my concealer down in the triangle shape and then also on my eyelid because that's where I have dark circles. So I'm going to do the same on this side. I really hope it's not too big of a difference. And it is. <laughs> I have another shade of Tarte Shape Tape that I think I'm gonna mix with this to make it more like the Revolution. Hold on. Cause that is like night and day. I don't know if it's coming up, but. Okay, this shade is in Light Neutral by Tarte. So let's see if we can get it a little bit more like that side. Oh yeah, this one's just like it. All right, so right off the bat, I can tell that this one is a little bit more thin in consistency. Um, it looks just a little bit more watery underneath the eye than this one does, and obviously the color is a little off, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my beauty blender. Okay, so it is very full coverage. It's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, off the bat, as far as blendability, it's really blending in. And it's keeping a lot of that coverage. So that looks pretty good. Now let's blend in the Tarte one. Okay, so they look pretty similar right off the bat. I can't really tell any difference as far as like shade range goes or coverage. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Revolution one, just because I'm extra spug. So when it goes on, it feels a little bit lighter to me. Like it just feels a little bit more, it just feels a little bit more like watery. Not much, but just a little bit. But it blends out beautifully. It looks 
good over my foundation because that is actually a thing like sometimes concealer just does not look good layered over foundation this one looks really good looks very skin like as far as creasing i haven't set anything with powder yet but i am getting basically about the same amount of creasing if you can see that on my lids and underneath my eyes um but they look pretty even like i can't tell a difference i wouldn't be able to tell like a difference if i was like saw a stranger on the street you know they look pretty similar they feel pretty similar so i'm gonna go ahead and set with my air spun powder i'm so excited guys that this is good i'm setting my tart side first looks pretty good underneath powder too all right so they both look pretty good with powder Again, I can't really tell any major differences. They both look the same. This one literally looks like Tarte Shape Tape. Like I would not be able to tell a difference at all. I can't see any differences in the way it applied or the way that it blends it out or the way the powder lays on it. It looks pretty good right now. So my hopes are pretty high. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I will be right back. Right now it is 1.31 p.m. You can see that so i will finish the rest of my face give you a final thought and then i'll give you some updates throughout the day okay so i finished my makeup and it looks really good still it looks just like the tarte shape tape it could look a little bit drier that's like the only thing i would say is that it looks like a touch drier under this eye than compared to this one but that's also could be because I've had like an eczema flare up lately and like whenever, I don't know, I get eczema on my eyelids. <laughs> Sounds a little weird, but like from constantly using like eye makeup remover and like washing my face and stuff, I get dry patches on my eyes and like under here. So like, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad at all. It looks really good. Let me zoom you in. Okay. So it looks really good. You really can't see anything. I mean, I notice because like, I'm like, it's my face, but it just looks a little bit more drier and like a touch creepy, like a little, little bit creepy under this eye, but nothing crazy. So I'm going to wear this all day and I will do some updates for you guys. I will be going to natural light so you guys can see what it looks like out there. Cause it's a totally like a whole new world when you go outside. I was about to start singing a whole new world, but relax. <laughs> um, when you go outside, it's like a whole, like the lighting is just completely different. So it looks different. So I will show you guys what it looks like in natural light and I will give you updates throughout the day. It's now two o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my nail appointment and then I will see you in a few hours. All right guys, so it's time for an update. It is now 4.50 and it's held up really well. Let me zoom you in. These, like I'm creasing, but I'm creasing on both sides. So it's not just the one, you know, it's not just the cheaper one. I would say this is a really, really good dupe. As of right now, I've only had it on for, it's about to be three hours. And I would say it's a really good dupe so far. Um, it's raining out today. So it's not like, well, you know, the rain droplets can affect your makeup and stuff. And nothing has changed. Nothing has moved. It looks amazing. I cannot tell a difference between eye to eye. So, so far I'm like super impressed and super excited by this product. I mean, $7 versus $27 is quite amazing and especially to have like the same amount of coverage the same lasting power it's not creasing it's not doing anything crazy on my face it's laying nice under powder on top of foundation so so far so good fingers crossed all right guys i'm back with the final update of the night it is 10 23 p.m and I was done with my makeup around 2 o'clock, so it's been on roughly about 8 hours and 20 minutes. Um, all in all, I would say 100% dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. Um, it held up amazingly. I'm going to zoom you guys in. The rest of my makeup's a little rough because it's been a long day. I, the only thing, I haven't touched up anything all day. The only thing I touched up was my lip gloss because it's lip gloss and it faded off. <laughs> um, let me zoom you in. Also... My nails are fixed. <laughs> Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Okay, zooming in. So you can see that there's minimal creasing. I mean, there is some, but that's on both of my eyes. Um, I'm tired and I naturally have like fine lines underneath my eyes. I always crease. So that 
is nothing considering this eye is creasing as well as this one again this right eye is the revolution concealer and this left eye is the tarte shape tape so there really isn't that much of a difference at all that i can see there's still coverage none of my dark circles are peeking through um, nothing has kind of really creased and settled too badly. I mean, I would expect this after an eight hour, eight hour day. Um, so I, I'm impressed. So yeah, all in all, I'm impressed. Also, I changed my t-shirt because I was wearing an off the shoulder shirt in the first part. And then I checked the weather and it was like 50 something degrees and raining today. So I was like, mm, let's throw a t-shirt on. So that's why I have a t-shirt on. But all in all, I'm like really, really impressed with this concealer i would 120 percent say it's a dupe for the tarte shape tape they do have a large shade range as well that i saw um they were just sold out with a lot of colors because it's so popular right now so if you can get your hands on it i would definitely say to pick it up it is absolutely worth the seven dollars and i will probably never buy a shape tape again because this did the exact same thing it lasted just as long covered just as much as i would expect shape tape to cover and you guys know that I have pretty dark circles, even like on my eyelids and like all up in this corner here. I mean, I have pretty dark circles. So this really did the job more than a drugstore concealer has ever done. So I would say definitely pick that up if you can. I think you can, I, I don't know. I've only seen it at Ulta, but I've only seen the Revolution brand sold at Ulta. I've never seen it at like Target or CVS or anything. Um, but I will link this in the description bar down below so you guys can check it out if you want to easily. So that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Thumbs up this video. If you like this video, let me know if you tried this concealer and what you thought of it. Also, how you feel like it compared. All right, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.